Hey guys, I just woke up a little bit ago and I've been super busy lately because I've been doing my yoga teacher training but today it was cancelled because there's a huge storm that happened last night and the roads are all flooded and you can literally see only the tops of cars so there was no way of me getting to yoga which I'm really sad about because I've been enjoying it so much and I wanted to tell you guys a little about it. So how you get into it is you need to have somewhat of a yoga background. I've been doing yoga for two to three years and I knew I wanted to be a teacher from the start because yoga has saved me from a lot of my issues. I had depression and an eating disorder and it was just my one safe spot and I can honestly say that without yoga I wouldn't be where I am today and I want to share that with as many people as I can so I decided that I wanted to become a yoga teacher pretty soon in my journey of yoga. So, with all that, I did all the research and stuff, and I found out that I could do a yoga teacher training at only 16, so I decided I wanted to dive right into it, and you don't need to be a pro at yoga. You don't need to be any level, but it's good to have a background, because when you go into there, they kind of expect you to have some background knowledge or be a little advanced, and um, it'll just be a lot easier if you know some stuff about yoga. So, it is pretty costly up to, well, I, I see average is about $3,000 if you're not going to sleep there. Like, there are places like Kripalu where you literally dorm there. And it's amazing there if you want to go there. There's a lake, a spa, like, it's amazing. And it's like the Harvard of yoga schools. So, choosing a yoga school, you just get to know the teachers, the studio, the place I go to is really friendly and I like that it um, acknowledges all the spiritualness, spiritual, <laughs> spiritualness of yoga, which I love. And um, I definitely knew that that was the right yoga school for me. So what we do, it's a seven week program and it's five days a week for four hours each day. And in total you need to do 48 hours of asana practice, which is just your basic yoga class, you know, that you can go to in a studio. And so we do two hours in the morning, well, one and a half hours of yoga, and then we'll do the rest of the time, we'll learn about sequencing, um, uh, the Sanskrit, like mantras, chants, stuff like that. And it is so fun. The group I'm with is absolutely amazing, and that's what makes it. You, like, make such a connection with the people you're with, hopefully. But I can, I can say that my group is a group of amazing people, and I'm really glad I connected with them. Some things to expect during your yoga teacher training is, one, you're going to be exhausted. I've never done this much yoga each day. I'm doing about two to three hours of straight poses, like asana practice, which I've never done before. So the next day, I really feel it. Right now, my arms are really sore, and it's also mentally exhausting. There is homework, and just you gain a deeper understanding of yourself depending on where you go. But it just opens your eyes to this whole new world and a whole new view on yourself and those around you. and it's really a huge change and that's exhausting. I've changed my view on so many things, especially those close to me. So that has been a huge change and it's amazing. It's given me a better view and a better view on life. It's really refreshing to just have everything new. Like it's just a new slate and I really love it. I have to admit, it's pretty emotional and I spent a lot of time crying these past few weeks because you really have to take all your problems and just break them down so that you can build yourself up. And the reason we do this is so that we can leave room in our bodies to hold other people's pains, hold our students' pains, because when you have all this weight in your own body, then you're not going to have room for anyone else. And as a teacher, you need to hold room for your students because yoga can be really heart opening and let out a lot of problems. I mean, I've cried in yoga classes before, laying in shavasana, and I just know that it's really releasing of emotions. One thing I really want to share with you guys that I learned from yoga is manifesting. And that's just saying, if you look at yourself in the future, 
explain exactly how it is to the universe, how you want it, and not to be too specific or too vague. It's just to say how your life looks at that moment. Not saying, I want, I will, just to say, I am. You know? It's hard to say things like that because we always doubt ourselves. And that's something I do because, especially since I'm young and I say, I want to live in Hawaii. <laughs> I want to be a success, successful blogger and all those things, so I'm going to read you guys my manifesting dream, or not even dream, my, my manifesting, what will happen, and I'm just reading it to you so that I can put it out into the universe. I live in a warm tropical climate near the ocean. I work at a yoga studio that I love like a second home. I make enough money to afford plane tickets three to four times a year. I get paid to teach yoga all around the world. I blog my experiences and advice on my website where I'm paid to sponsor products that I enjoy. I am in a healthy relationship that's focused around having fun and enjoying life together. I run an explorers club with people that are passionate. And if you don't know what an explorers club is, it's pretty much just a group of people that pay me to take them traveling. and. Say if I lived in Hawaii, then I can take them to all the best sites in Hawaii, maybe get them good discounts and things like that. And this is my dream. Like, when I picture myself waking up every morning, this is what I see myself doing. I'm able to wake up in the morning, step outside, and pick something from my garden to eat for breakfast, run to the beach, and swim in the ocean. So that's just what I see myself doing in the future and I'm putting it out into the universe so that the universe can um, just give it to me however they receive it and I think that's really important to do and not to doubt yourself and this has definitely made me grow in terms of that because I always use my age I even asked when we were learning about how to run a business with yoga I said like I'm gonna have to lessen my standards because I'm yo younger like get paid less but she said no you went through the same training as everyone else and you deserve to get treated just like everyone else and I realized that's so true I shouldn't let age get in my way and that's been a huge eye-opener to me <sighs> if you have any more questions please leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them and make a video when I graduate on the 20th of August and hopefully I'll answer all your questions I just wanted to show you this is my binder. It's thick and this is my curriculum. I'm certified in vinyasa yoga. I will be certified in vinyasa yoga and it has been the most amazing experience, the most amazing people, a huge eye opener and if you love yoga then I really recommend that you get your teaching certificate and share your passions with the world. Thank you for watching.